<laughs> do my podcast posh voice. Oh, okay. Then. Or would you want to meet me like I usually do? Like this. Oh, is this how you this usually, how I usually speak? speak? I'll put my podcast voice on. <laughs> sound like Gollum. Gollum doesn't sound like that though. I'm the sheriff in this town. I'm going to run that guy out of here on a rail. Do you think people would listen more if we did silly accents? No. 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 <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. This will be broadcast at Christmas, so it's going to be random if we say Happy Thanksgiving at the beginning. Oh, should we not then? Yeah. Confuse them. Yeah, we should then. We should put it out on American Thanksgiving. Relevance? <laughs> should, <laughs> should I take that out? So we starting? I'm not moving anything again. That's it. I'm done. Done. Yeah? Yeah. Is that so? Yeah. All <laughs> settled in. Yeah? yeah? Are you trying to convince me or yourself? Everyone. No. You can I stop doing that too. <laughs> I won't make stomach noises anymore. That's because I fed you. Yes, thank you. You had a vegetable and your stomach doesn't know what to do with it. That's probably what happened. It's trying to figure out the quickest, easiest way to eject it, it was, from my body. It was the parsnip that did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cousin of a carrot. Yeah, the parsnip is carrot's evil cousin. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Double Edged Sport. <laughs> We mind the gap on that. I'm Helen. There'd be no gap. No, we need to take my Helen. Sounded like I was needy. Did it start over? I'm Steve. I'm Helen. True. Welcome to the. To, see. I already said you that. That's good job. <laughs> yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> Where did we eat this week, Steve? We ate in the Fredericton area. We ate at the Diplomat. It's a 24-hour restaurant. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it is located at 253 Woodstock Road. Fredericton, New Brunswick. Fredericton, Canada. Fredericton, Fredericton, Fred- Freder- Fredericton. Fredericton. <laughs> I've got a predilection for Fredericton. Oh, there you go. There I go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We did this on a listener request. Another listener request. Send us your request, and yeah, we perform this. We try. Perform. Perform. We perform we the perform task of the eating. eating at a restaurant. We were requested to go to the Diplomat restaurant on the Woodstock Road in Fredericton, and we were told to have a Diplomat burger platter, which we did do. Yeah, we did. Because we do what we're told. So send your requests in, and we will do what we're told. Unless <laughs> Not it's necessarily. Seafood. Yeah, no, we should probably qualify that. We have to be able to get there. Yes. We have to be able to afford it. Yes. We it have to have to, a vague interest in liking the food. We have to not be allergic to it. Yes. You, how would you know? You wouldn't know. But send us requests anyway. And if you send us a request and we can't do it, we'll probably still mention you. Yeah, but particularly... Deride new, you for your ridiculous choice. We have listeners that are not in New Brunswick, but uh, that's where we live, so we're closer to We have to listeners there. all around the world, and we would really like to do a podcast from each of these countries, yeah, but so we'll send do us, our best. Send us thousands of dollars so that we can afford to awesome. fly to the place <laughs> that you want us to eat at. The Australia one is the one I want to go to best, because then I can see my friend Sinead. Yeah. All right, send us to Australia. 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 Good eye, mate. Shrimp on the barbie. They don't say that there. I think they do. Do they really, though? I think so. They say good day, mate. They do say good day, mate. Anyway, this week we were at the Diplomat in Fredericton because nobody sent us money, so we had to stay where we live. True. But we honoured a request anyway from a local person that didn't send us money. What did you think? How was the experience for you, Steve? It was a very good experience for me. I had a fun time. I'd just been camping with my daughter for the weekend, so I was exhausted and... Um, exhausted from camping. It was exhausting. That's we went supposed on to be lots relaxing. of walks. We went to Fundy and we went in the fall and it was beautiful. You're meant to relax when you're camping. Yeah, but although I they call it did, roughing it, so I guess that's contradictory. I did all of the hiking. When we got into the foyer area of the restaurant, there was a big display case of cakes and desserts, which we thought, oh, we should have dessert. And you'll have to wait till the end of the podcast to see if we do. We didn't first noticed not cakes but the smell of Chinese food yes there was a strong smell of Chinese food very strong I don't know uh, which part of the I think it's the soy sauce perhaps on the fried bits but there's a distinct smell when you come in yeah there is that, maybe it's the soy sauce that you go that's Chinese food not yeah. not and in a good way kind of in a, a good a oh good yeah way. I didn't mean it was a bad thing I just meant yeah. it's very distinctive like when you go into Subway there's a specific smell in Subway but if you go into McDonald's, you won't smell that. If you go into a pizza place, you don't smell that. Yeah, Same Subway's with... not bad, not good. A but you go of, into a, a lot of restaurants and they don't it, have yeah. a particular mm-hmm. smell to to a lot of restaurants. Just it's just a place you go into, and then there's no smell until you get your food. 
this is one of those places that there's a smell the second you go in. There is. But it's not a bad one. Chinese food. Because they do Chinese food there. Oh, they do, that explains it. But they do other food too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sunday night we went around 7, 8 o'clock, something around there. Reasonable wait to get seated. It wasn't super busy in there, but it seemed to take a while to get us seated. Maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't too bad. It was quite chilly in there. You wait to be seated. You seat to be waited. They had chairs for us to sit and Oh, wait. yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Wordplay is my fault. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> yes, your facial expressions are picking up. On are they the, good? Yeah, let's not a video of this. It was quite cold in there, but it warmed up when we had our food and stuff. I was fine. I, I survived this experience. I just thought it was chilly on the way in. Yeah, well, on the way in, we're right beside the door. That's true. We're at the opening and people are leaving. And Yeah, and there was a lot of people coming in for takeaway. So they do takeaway there, which is a really good idea, actually. I might try that one day. Yes, yes, they do. And we were seated at our table. We had a nice waiter man that took us to our table. What do you think about our table, Steve? Well, you chose it, didn't you? No, we didn't choose it. We no, were given sure it. You, he said you could have said here, here, or here, and you were like this one. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Why did I choose that one? Probably because it was more booth like. Yeah. Had to have a better okay. Seat than yeah. I did. Well, I like to. I like so to sit so I can dominance so over I can, me as a table <laughs> person. Dominance over me. No, so I can survey. <laughs> so I can survey the other patrons and judge accordingly. Yeah, so I can't. And so you, you've managed to do quite well on that. Oh, it's because I don't mind rubbernecking all the way around. <laughs> Being rude. I do, because I feel like everyone's looking at me if I do that. So I managed, I got a good seat, I managed to survey the whole restaurant and have a, a, a good view of everyone, which is good. Yeah, but the where the where where we were, there was four tables um, side by side. We were we were quite packed in. Yeah, well, basically I could have done with three. Where there where four. you chose, you're on a bench. <laughs> this is my fault. Yeah, well, you were on a you're on a bench system. Yes, where, system <laughs> system where your side of the thing represents one side of dominance. Yeah, the dominant side of four different tables. I'm not coming out well in this. Whereas, <laughs> whereas my side of the table, subservient. Yeah, it's more the more subservient. Su- the subservient side of the table. Is more like separate tables, but mm. you're you're all sharing one Bunch royalty of tables seat, together. <laughs> and yeah. So I was sitting pretty close to. I don't know. The restaurant was fairly empty, and yet they sat a guy right next to us. Could have sat him anywhere. Sat yeah, him right he, next to they us. They could have sat him at one of the two tables you didn't choose. Yeah. Because those remained empty. Yes. So I didn't understand that unless he requested maybe he was it. given the choice and he saw how fun we were and thought oh, I want to be with those people. They're fun. Yeah, except that he paid no attention to us he had food blinders on he had his head in his plate he had his head in the clouds the clouds yeah it's a saying was it yeah it's your head's in the clouds you're not paying attention to anything yes but he had his food in his plate yeah but he, he was hungry he didn't start with food on the plate he arrived first i found this guy slightly peculiar because he came in you timed him <laughs> that was wrong <laughs> It was wrong. Was, if you see us in a restaurant, for the love of God, protect he yourself. Don't sit down. It was wrong. So here's what he did. He so sat. Here we go. He sits on the dominant side of the table, facing the buffet. <laughs> oh, there's a buffet. There's a buffet. Yeah, there's the also a buffet at the diplomat, so you can do that. There's like an all-you-can-eat price. So he sits down, stares straight at the food with no expression on his face, and pays no attention that there's other people around him whatsoever just has this discerning look of urgency. And then He's when hungry. The, yeah, and when the wait staff came over and asked what he wanted, he just said buffet. He didn't Buffet Buffet. <laughs> me me did not He didn't yell it. He did not. <laughs> but that's what he said. <laughs> Didn't he exchange other pleasantries, or did he just say no? Buffet? There were no pleasantries. This guy was on a mission, okay. and the the wait staff were like, "Oh, very good, excellent choice, sir." Is that what they did said? It? Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> he was all pleasantries. Uh, would you like me to get you anything to drink? He's no, no. Okay, well the buffet is right over there. And then the guy just got up and pretty much darted to the buffet, and then he came back with a full plate of food. Oh, it was a dome shape. Very dome shaped plate of food. It's impressive, really. Mostly meat. I didn't see what he had on it. I he was next to me. From the, your subservient position at the table, you could see what he had. Yeah. I would have had to be <laughs> obvious that I was looking and I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I didn't mind. So I looked at his dome of food. <laughs> it was mostly meat. He had loads of ribs, wings chicken balls is a lot of food i couldn't have finished the first plate and he ate it in under five minutes i'm certain of oh for sure for sure but you timed a second plate i couldn't believe he went up for a second plate he went up for a third plate i thought he was done he did three 
Yeah, you're not leaving us much for the third act here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no cliffhangers on this story. No, really <laughs> he ate a third plate. <laughs> he didn't have to say it. See, I've really Oh, really you got to stop like, this, yeah. Helen. What are you doing? <laughs> There's an art to storytelling. No, I've lost it. You don't tell the ending at the it. beginning. I've left it. So he he got his second plate, which was just as full as the first plate. And then, yes, I timed him because I wanted to see how fast he could eat that one. He was a little winded from the first plate. The second plate wasn't quite as done. It was still pretty impressive. It, it was more than I could have eaten in one. But the, while he was eating, even, he didn't glance around at other patrons. Oh, no, nothing. he was focused on his, nothing. On his art. One hundred, I've never seen such a thing. I've seen people eat alone at restaurants. They still look around at, at the walls, the other Maybe people. Maybe bring a book. You know, Anything. take a leisurely eat of their food. Anything that people look around, this guy did not even look around. He was just food, and that's it. The only thing there is in the world is this plate of food, and he only looked at the food and otherwise the buffet to make sure nobody else was taking what he wanted next. <laughs> he did not. Yes, he did. <laughs> Stared straight ahead right at the buffet. That's why he chose that seat, he was facing the buffet. Okay. Had to look at it constantly from his royal throne. So I timed him. He was 7 minutes and 43 seconds on the second plate of food. Pretty impressive. Yeah. His third plate of food, he still looked no directions but straight. Oh, he was focused on his work. So focused. He was 5 minutes, 38 seconds. It was less dome. Slightly less dome. Yeah, every time the dome went down a level. But only a little. He didn't make friends with us. He didn't make friends with anybody. He wasn't even looking around. He was very curt. He didn't care for pleasantries. No, he didn't enjoy I don't feel, feel like he enjoyed his experience. He didn't look like he enjoyed the food that he was so adamant at eating at a yeah, destructively it was more of a fast level. Than a experience. I think it's because that was his last meal. Oh, and it's got dark. Yeah, he was on his way out for whatever reason. And he knew his next destination was not gonna involve food. Right. He won't need food where he's going. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> huh. So let's lighten the tone. Pour some tone lightener on this. <laughs> So, what did we have? Oh, do we, do we get to talk? <laughs> we knew one of the things we were going to have because our listener requested it. So we knew what one of the items was, you know was going to be. He was in and out of there in 20 minutes. He was in and out of the poor man. 20 minutes. Fame at last. The longest he was there was waiting for the wage staff to ask him if he wanted his bill yet. Can I get you any more does it? No, nope. Bill. He did, actually. He was, he was very monosyllabic. Oh, yeah. Bill. Poor Bill. <laughs> what did he do? Nothing. <laughs> The waiter was nice as well. He was a friendly soul, yeah, so he, he would have friendly. been he would have been chatty. Yeah, he tried. He was trying to offer him dessert or more water or anything. Friendly ear. Counseling. Bed for the night. <laughs> he was very friendly. <laughs> a good spot to do that. let's give an overview of the restaurant it's predominantly chinese food i'd say yes they have a 24-hour breakfast they have a canadian food menu chinese food menu yes and a buffet or buffet (laughs) jimmy buffett buffet there you go they don't have jimmy buffett there they don't thank you everyone they have desserts they have takeaway take out take away take out <laughs> too yeah, okay. in it for this podcast i'm okay with both take out or take away eat out eat in eat wherever you like don't eat we'll eat for you yeah we'll do it it's my mum. she's <laughs> rearranging your cupboards downstairs probably should we go to our needlessly complicated scoring system you want to go to that right away? We can try. Okay, yeah, sure. Now that we've composed ourselves, yeah, okay. Composed, you say? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What did you think of the menu? I thought the menu was excellent. Like we said before, they have a 24-hour breakfast menu. Yeah, we just said it. We don't have to belabor that point. No, no. What are the highlights of the menu, Steve? Things we didn't have. Things we could have chosen, but we didn't. Here's the thing, is that... There are many of them. So this list I have right here. Which the audience can see brilliantly. I'm showing you. Okay. It's, for it's you. a massive list. He's scrolling. His of, fingers a... moving like demon. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the past tense of a demon? I don't know. Demon. Demon is the thing. <laughs> Have I always been saying that wrong? Demon. Do you mean as though I was a demon? 
Maybe. Oh my. <laughs> you're moving your finger fast is what you're doing. With the finger of a demon. Scrolling through their menu choices. That's Any highlights that you through. wish you'd chosen and you didn't? So many that it would take me a while to look through them to figure that out. But there's a lot of stuff. It has a regular Chinese food menu with the combos and that. And you can substitute some of your combo items, which I think is awesome. Yeah, that was cool. I love that there's the We substituted something on. Because we, we got one combo and um, the burger platter that was requested by our viewer. Viewer. <laughs> he viewed with his ears. He viewed with his ears. And then they have the, the Canadian menu where they've got their seafood and fries and burgers and soups and salads and there's a lot of things and they have the buffet i didn't go up to the buffet though no neither of us did we no. ordered food and we they brought it food. to us and you can too Woo-hoo. with our system so what do you give the menu out of 10 i thought it was massively extensive and i liked the, the chinese thing you could substitute stuff you could have the buffet if you wanted you could breakfast if you wanted yeah also it was good. i didn't even look at the breakfast menu so I thought the they menu, it was a lot, you, you wouldn't go there and not be able to find something to eat. I think you could easily find something to eat there. So I'm going to give it a 10. I give it a 10 also. Okay. Same reason. Marvellous. That was easy. Yes. <laughs> What's next on the needlessly complicated... <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list? <laughs> see what you did there. Ambiance. This, you can see pictures online. We we took some pictures. I took photos. It was diner-esque. Yeah, but fancy. It was fancy. They had fancy mm-hmm. decorations. That wasn't my stomach that time. Was it not? No, it was not. There was something downstairs. Yeah. Uh, there was the chairs in the dining room, I think. Your furniture's being rearranged also. Time out. <laughs> time out. <laughs> <laughs> It's for you. It was for you. (laughs) Dog. It was for you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We're back. Ambiance. I thought it was a bit, I, I don't know, kind of sterile. Is that wrong to say? I didn't, it didn't have a unique feel to it. No, I felt like it, it seemed a little more upscale than sterile to me. The chairs were nice. It looked like it was going to be expensive. I don't think it brought anything extra to the table. If you, see what I mean. Yeah, some of that was, was in the way the staff is dressed. They were kind of dressed up fancy. Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah. And but... some of it's the wall decorations they had. Like, I'm just going to assume some of the decor was Chinese oriented. <laughs> Oriental. <laughs> <laughs> oriented. <laughs> it's a whole different meaning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to give them a seven for ambiance. I'm going to go with a six. And I sounded like I didn't like it as much as you. No, I just said it seemed upscale. But so you're going to mark it down because it seemed upscale? Well, it felt like I was underdressed. <laughs> We're always underdressed. Wherever we go, both of us are always underdressed. Yeah, but especially me. <laughs> I like the way you dress. Well, thank you. I like the way you dress. I was wearing a hoodie and jeans. Yeah, I'm into that. That's Okay, well, there we go. Oh, you look like a human. Good. I look like a human. We did not fit in. We No, the guy next to us had shorts on. We were fine. Well, compared to that guy, he was still... on his deathbed. Settle this on... is last meal. Cut him some slack. <laughs> we'll settle on six and a half ambiance. Wait staff? The wait staff that we had, excellent. Super personable. It was really nice. He was nice, yeah. The woman, when we first came in, there was a couple of guys that left. They paid and left. And one of the guys said to her, thank you, on the way out. And she completely blanked him. I don't know. Maybe she didn't hear him. I just thought it was a bit rude. Maybe, it took a maybe while they used to... to date and she's ghosting him now. It may be. Took a while to serve us, but the waiter week guy we had was super friendly, and when we paid, that seemed fine. So actually, that he was, was fine. fixated on you. Was he? Yeah, like when he spoke to me, he would look at you and answer my question. Well, it's because I was in the dominant position of the table. Oh, that's when you probably were in the why he's not going to talk to poverty position. like myself. <laughs> we were both dressed in poverty. Yeah, but I was the peasant in the seating <laughs> arrangement. Yeah. I was so, being repressed. I think the wait staff were good. He was he was good. He was great. He brought us our things quickly. He was prompt. The bill came fast. The the staff on the front desk I don't think were as good. I agree, but I don't know what their 
actual job was. I don't know what they were doing exactly. I forgot to take my credit card, but the guy who was going to pay behind me reminded me that I hadn't taken my credit card. I was the guy behind you, what? He was waiting, the guy, there was somebody behind me waiting to pay their bill, and he told me I'd left my credit card. Oh, you mean you left it on the counter? Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant you left it at home. No, like, no. How does he know? <laughs> no. So I'm going to give him an eight overall. Still. Also give eight. What about the look and taste of the food? Firstly, we had a combo platter, which was... We paid extra for chicken fried rice. We paid an extra dollar for that. We had chicken balls, honey ribs, and chicken fried rice. You can swap an item for a different item, or you can pay extra for a different item. And we also had a Diplomat burger platter. A charbroiled eight ounce handmade patty. It's made of hand. No, it's handmade, not made with hand. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, good. Sirloins don't have hands. Sorry. Handmade patty from fresh grown top sirloin, topped with lettuce, tomato, pickles and mayonnaise, served on a fresh bun with fries and creamy coleslaw. Now, we rejected the lettuce because lettuce is wrong on a burger. Absolutely. And we rejected the mayonnaise. I think we rejected the pickles as well. We took the pickles, but... We took them out. We took them off. Tomato, I I can I approve of tomato on a burger. I don't, but, but we had it anyway. That's fine. Because we shared we shared both of our things. We shared the platter and we shared the burger because we're friendly like that. They know when you go like this on the audio. Do they? Good. Yeah. We rejected the mayonnaise because <laughs> it's, it's mayonnaise, and they brought the creamy coleslaw. But we rejected the creamy coleslaw. Rejecting we're really not healthy, are we? And we're snobs, apparently. We rejected a lot, but the burger platter was excellent. An interesting fact, Rooney, is if you look online at the menu for the diplomat, it will say that the burger platter is fifteen forty nine. If you buy the burger platter, the menu online is out of date. Is what I'm saying. It is eighteen forty nine. Oh. So I think the menu is out of line. Out of, out of line. It's, you're out of line. You're out of line, <laughs> it menu. Is out of line, but out of Hand in your badge <laughs> and your gun. <laughs> That's just something to know. There are people's but... lives at stake. You're off the force, menu. What yes. did you think? We had leftovers. Yay. I love leftovers. I thought the food was delicious. Food was excellent. Particularly the burger platter. The burger platter was excellent. Thank you, Harry, for recommending it to us. Yeah, and our wait staff gave us advice on how to cut it. Oh, didn't he? He did. I think it was because it was super high. I think I was going to cut it anyway. And he told us to cut it in half. Yeah, which I was going to do anyway. Maybe we said we were sharing and he said you should cut it in half. And he thought, oh, okay, we didn't thought of that if we were sharing. Give us a method of cutting as well. He wanted to be involved in No, he was super nice. I liked him. (laughs) Look and taste of the food. What are you going to give them, Steve? Well... Oh, uh, hang on. Hang right. on right there. We haven't talked about the beverages we had. What was the... What was... What was that like for you? How was that experience? <laughs> <laughs> Good segue. Maybe should have done that on menu. Yeah, but we like to... look and taste. My wine tasted lovely. I had an eight ounce glass of house white wine. Wine. And I had a Picaroon's Best Bitter, which I... Very much enjoyed. The, the look of the food is excellent. The taste of the food is also really good. Sweet and sour sauce is red, as it should be. Yeah. Artificially so, but that's what you expect. Still, it's the cherry on top. Yeah. There's a cherry reference, and they're not actually red. Maraschino mm-hmm. cherries? No. No, you're not. No. No, we add the coloring. Is that right? Yeah. That's, that's the thing. stupid. Yeah, look it up. I liked the burger more than I liked the Chinese food. The food was really, really good. Yeah, it was good. It looked good. They gave us vinegar as well, which I liked, and they gave us side plates. So, I do like. They knew I, we were I do sharing. like white vinegar on fries. And, it's uh, the British in you. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I'm going to say the burger platter a nine, the Chinese food a seven. So we'll meet oh. in the middle for an eight. I'm going to give them a nine. Which means we meet in the middle of my eight. Oh my gosh, it's made this unbelievably complicated. Which gives them an eight and a half. Cost is where I think they let themselves down. I, I also think that. The food was good, service was good, but I, so did, I, I did feel like the cost was pretty high. For the combo platter, with a dollar extra for the chicken fried rice, made a total of seventeen ninety nine. The burger platter was eighteen forty nine. I think they're at least five dollars higher than they need to be. Now here's the interesting part. Wine varies wherever you go. I, I accept that. I think this was high. It was ten fifty nine for an eight ounce glass of wine. But now here, the scandalous part of this bill. 
Steve had a Picaroon's Best Bitter, which you can buy in the liquor store, three ninety five. Usually when you go out for a meal, they cost you what? Seven fifty. At the Diplomat restaurant, ten ninety nine for your Picaroon's Best Bitter. And I'm t- and see that sounds like a lot to me. I think it's expensive. Especially given they're gonna tax you on that too. So I have a theory on this. I think it's because the Diplomat restaurant is a twenty four hour restaurant, so they have to cover staff for 24 hours a day electricity the whole shebang and wait staff kitchen staff etc so i think they've upped the price on everything in order to accommodate this 24 hour bonus you get by eating there i think you pay a premium because it's a 24 hour place otherwise they're uh, doing what convenience stores do where they go yeah we're the only place yeah. open right now so therefore, so therefore we can, can charge pay whatever we want six dollars for that two dollar bar of candy right I get that as a thing, but the, we were there. Not we we paid the bill at eight fifty nine at night. But it's the same thing. If you go to the twenty four hour convenience store where you pay six dollars for a small bag of chips, and then you go in the daytime when all the other places are still open, they don't lower the price in the daytime. The moral of this story is you should eat at the Diplomat between eleven o'clock at night and six in the morning because <laughs> nowhere else is open. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you give them for price? Six. God, you're mean today. It's I'm gonna... not because I'm mean. I just feel like the price was high even for the food. I'm going to give them a seven. So we'll meet at six and a half. Now, I'm going to do some math. Out of 50, we give them a 39 and a half. If How you did you come to that? How did you come to 39 and a half? Each category is scored out of 10. And I add them together. And then we bury them in a landfill. <laughs> then we pay a government <laughs> to come and dig it up. Spread it to four corners of the earth and then wait for explorers to find them. And when they meet with each other, they times it by two and divide it in half. No, we times it by two to get the percentage. Oh, right. And the percentage is 79%. That's accurate. That's still so, what a do we do sport. after the percentage, Steve? Bring it to a, a lab and have it analyzed. No. <laughs> All right, you tell me. We do the bite size score. Oh, we do a bite size score, which is which out of is 10. Which is out of 10. And we give the Diplomat Restaurant a 7.9 out of 10. That's still a good score. It's not bad. Yeah. But it would be higher if we were eating at 3 in the morning. I think it, it's it, they covet that market. They covet it? Covet it, yeah. Coveting is something you want that you don't have, like your neighbor's wife or... <laughs> your neighbor's wife. That's in the Bible. What's your neighbor's wife look like? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't mean my neighbor's wife. I don't even mean your neighbor's wife. I don't even mean me. <laughs> it's in the Ten Commandments thing. Blue. I don't think it's about his wife. I think it's his like the, property and stuff, isn't the it? The guy with the beard rode on the rock. Must have took a Religion while. is us. <laughs> it's the, the commandment. No, you, is thou covet shalt your, not you covet, covet your neighbor's ox. It's his bloody his ox. ox. It's not his wife. Have you met his wife? (laughs) (laughs) What was the point of this? (laughs) You're poking holes in my... (laughs) They cover... Whatever I said. They're they're looking to corner the drunk market between 11 and 6 in the morning. Yeah, well, they're more likely to be out eating food. And those people tend to not think quite so much about what's in their bank account. Okay, so the Diplomat is located at 253 Woodstock Road in Fredericton. And we reckon I'd go there again, but probably drunk. Yeah, okay. Coveting. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. How many hours long is this podcast? <laughs>